You can't have rice. You can't have carbs if you're losing weight. Lies. I've lost almost 100 pounds and I still ate rice and I still ate bread. So let's make my favorite meal, chipotle bowls. I have leftover birria from the tacos I made. So I'm just going to heat these up. If you don't have a rice cooker, you need one. I'm going to use one cup of rice. I'm going to add two cups of water. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. I'm just going to let this cook. All right, so I'm going to start dicing up my tomatoes for my pico de gallo and guac. So we're just going to cut the Roma tomato in half, and then in half again. Then we're going to gut it like this so that it doesn't end up too watery, the pico de gallo. And then I cube it up. I'm not a perfectionist. As long as it's cut up, it works for me. All right, now we're going to dice up our red onion. I'm going to add this to the tomato. And again, we're saving some for the guac. And we're just gonna get a bunch of cilantro, go like this, cut, cut, cut. I'm gonna add the rice to the pico de gallo. One full lime, salt to taste, some garlic powder, and our pico de gallo is set. Now I'll make my guac the exact same way and I hope this avocado is in good condition. Perfect. All right, we're gonna put our friend in here. We're gonna add cilantro, red onion, and tomato. Salt to taste, garlic powder always, just half a lime. I right, get that all in there. And our guac is ready. All right, so my rice is done. Add some cilantro to the rice, some lime juice. I'm gonna add the meat on top, add some pinto beans, some corn with pico de gallo, guac. Look how pretty. It's gonna top it with some green salsa. I ate this almost every day sometimes. I've lost almost 100 pounds, and during my weight loss, I was still indulging in things that I like, so let's make some tangalulu. All right, I'm gonna be using strawberries, and I'm just gonna be cutting off the ends here. I'm also gonna use some grapes, and yes, I washed them. To make our glassy sugar coating, we're gonna use two cups of sugar, and one cup of water. And you are not going to mix this. It's gonna look something like this. We're gonna place it on the stove top, and we're gonna bring this to a boil. I'm gonna start forming my skewers. I'm gonna use three strawberries, but you can do more. All right, these are all ready for dipping. All right, we're gonna have to prepare an ice bath. So I just have this bowl of water, and I'm gonna fill it with ice. Some ice. It's been simmering, and it's turned amber, so I'm gonna do a little test run. Dip it in the ice bath. Oh yeah, it's ready. So now we're just gonna dip our strawberries. You immediately dip them in the ice bath and they come out beautiful. It's amazing. Let's give the grapes a go. One of the reasons I was almost 300 pounds was because I was eating that Taco Bell crunch wrap all the time. Today, we're gonna make it at home. Can you tell I'm excited for Halloween? All right, we're starting with 96% lean ground beef. I'm going to season it. Now I'll be listing what I'm seasoning it with. So now we're gonna cook our ground beef. All right, so I'm gonna be using Mission's Carb Balance Whole Wheat Tortilla. They're pretty big, so it's like perfect for this. I'm gonna be using fat-free cheese. You can use any cheese you like. That's just what I'm using. It's 40 calories. The tortilla is 110 calories. We're just gonna place some ground beef on here. And I'm gonna use Mission Zero Carb Tortilla that I toasted up on the stove. We're gonna place that on top of our ground beef. We're gonna be using non-fat Greek yogurt as our sour cream. Okay, now we're just gonna put some lettuce on top and some tomatoes. I'm gonna place another low carb tortilla on top so that it remains closed. All right, she's all wrapped up and I'm just gonna put her on the oven to cook. All right, this is done cooking. Look at that beauty. Oh my God, 10 out of 10. I forgot to show you my fit. Check it out, check it out. Greek God, it's to be morbidly obese because I was always eating junk food like Takis and hot Cheetos. So let's make some healthier Takis today. Check out this beauty. All right, we're gonna start with our chickpeas. I always use canned, it's never an issue. You just wanna make sure that they're nice and dry before putting them in the oven so that they don't end up mushy. Just use a paper towel and just kind of pat them dry this way and that always works. After you've patted dry your chickpeas, you're gonna lay them out on a parchment paper. And we're just gonna lay these out evenly. Now we're gonna put these in the oven at 425 for about 20 to 30 minutes. While the chickpeas are in the oven, we're gonna start making our taki seasoning, some tajin. And I don't measure anything, I just eyeball it. I want my takis to be real dusty. And we're gonna get some chili powder. Now this isn't spicy, but it gives that nice peppery flavor. Onion powder and cayenne for that spice. I'm also gonna use two packs of sugar-free lemonade mix. This will give it that citric acid that's in takis. It's gonna give it a good little shake. So these roasted for about 30 minutes. We're just gonna add our talkie dust. You guys already know I like to kick it up a notch. We're gonna add some cucumber. I'm gonna add a little bit of lime juice to this. Some Valentina hot sauce. You guys already know I've lost almost 100 pounds and I'm trying to keep it that way. So let's make some lower calorie, higher protein cheese steaks. All right, we're gonna start with our peppers. Bam, bam, bam. Let me stop. So we're just gonna cut these into slices. All right, so now we're just gonna slice up an onion. Ah, oh, I'm crying. 
The damn onions. Just gonna transfer everything into this pot. I used about three bell peppers and half an onion. We're just gonna season with some oregano, some salt, black pepper, garlic powder. I'm gonna add in a little bit of avocado oil. Mix this up. I'm gonna add this to a hot pan. Add these in. Cook these until they're nice and soft. So here I have some ribeye that I'm gonna be slicing up. I'm using about two pounds. I'm gonna add black pepper to it, salt, garlic powder, onion powder. I'm gonna mix it and then add it to a hot pan. I'm just gonna cook our meat. I'm gonna add back in the veggies. Now you can add in your lower calorie cheese. I'm using mozzarella. I need a drink first. These are washed already. We're gonna take our Philly cheese steak mixture and place it in the lettuce. And the rest is dinner for the week. How did you lose weight? How did you lose weight? You guys are always asking. My answer is always the same. Low calorie, high volume. These noodles are 18 calories. They're made from konjac plant and that's why they're so low calorie. 18 calories, 210 calories with real spaghetti. You can make them any way you like, but I'm just gonna show you how I prep it. So now I'm gonna make the sauce. Remember, you can make any sauce you like, but I'm just going for like an Asian style. So I already have a little bit of water in there and some non-fat Greek yogurt, some low sodium soy sauce, about a teaspoon of oyster sauce, a teaspoon of sesame oil, onion powder, garlic powder, and I'm gonna add a little bit of cayenne just because I like it spicy. And we're just gonna mix this together. And I'm gonna add the sauce I made. It's all done. Look at the amount of noodles for 18 calories. With the sauce, it came out to be about 120-ish calories. But, I mean, it's so low calorie for the amount of food. It's insane. Add some grilled chicken to it, some chives, and yes, I'm gonna eat it all. I was almost 300 pounds because I would eat so much ice cream. Let me show you one of the cold alternatives I was eating during my weight loss. All right, to start, we're gonna do half a cup of raspberries. And yes, I washed them. And half a cup of strawberries. Every time I cook, I eat what I'm like cooking. And I'm just gonna mash it up all together. Chia seeds. I'm gonna do about two tablespoons of chia seeds. I'm just gonna mix this all together. We're gonna want about a tablespoon of honey. I'm just gonna mix this all together. All right, now I'm gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes so that the chia seeds can really thicken up the mixture. The mixture has thickened up quite a bit. I'm just gonna place it on clusters on this parchment paper. This isn't the prettiest looking dessert, but it does taste really good. It's pretty once you cover it. I'm just gonna place this in the freezer for a few hours. All right, these froze up, so now I'm just gonna dip them in some non-fat Greek yogurt. I'm just gonna sweeten it up a bit because it's unsweetened. I'm just gonna dip our clusters in the Greek yogurt. I had some leftover chocolate chips, so I just put a little bit on top, and now we're just gonna freeze these for a few hours. Now you guys know I've lost almost 100 pounds and I used to love McDonald's. So let's make some healthier, higher protein McChickens. All right, I have about 20 ounces of lean ground chicken here. Garlic powder, some mustard. Mustard adds a really good flavor to meat, just trust me. Onion powder, paprika, salt, ground pepper. I'm gonna add a little bit of cayenne. You can leave it out if you like spice. Now we're just gonna mix it up. To make the breading, we're gonna use a cup of cornflakes. Add some onion powder and some paprika. And I'm just gonna blend this up. So now we're gonna take our ground chicken and start forming patties. So I got four chicken patties out of this because I made them larger. Now we're just gonna dip them in the breading. All right, so we're gonna dip our chicken patty in the breading. This is nice and breaded, so I'm just gonna place it on a baking sheet. Now I'm gonna bake these in the oven at 400 for about 20 minutes. These bake beautifully, it's nice and crispy. I'm gonna be using low calorie buns that I toasted up. I'm gonna use some non-fat Greek yogurt as my mayo, or you could use mayo if you want. I'm gonna add on my chicken patty. Top it with a little bit of lettuce. And our McChicken is set. Just look at this beauty. This is a million times better. Trust me. I'm three pounds away from losing a grand total of 100 pounds. Let's go to the grocery store and get some healthy groceries. Now I gotta throw all of this away. Have fun. When I was almost 300 pounds, oh, you don't do this. I was eating hot Cheetos all the time and I miss them. I came across this recipe for like healthy hot Cheetos using like the crispy garbanzo beans. So let's give it a try. Let's start with our garbanzo beans, chickpeas, paprika, make it nice and red, hot Cheeto like, cayenne pepper to make it nice and spicy, garlic powder, and some salt. All right, so now we're gonna evenly spread it out on a baking sheet. All right, so now we're gonna bake it at 425 for about 20 to 30 minutes until they're nice and crispy. All right, so these baked about 30 minutes. 
It's gonna kick these up a notch. I'm gonna add in some diced cucumber. Valentina hot sauce. Look at that, beautiful. And some lime juice. My mouth is watering. So good. <sighs> Let's make a low calorie, high protein cheesecake so we can stay snatched. So we're gonna start off by making the cheesecake crust. We're gonna take one cup of oats and we're gonna blend it up. All right, so to our oat flour, we're gonna add in one egg white. One egg white. And we're gonna add in about three tablespoons of honey. And now we're just gonna mix it all together. I'm gonna place our pie mixture into the baking pan. Now I'm just gonna spread it out thinly on a nine inch pan. I'm just gonna pop this in the fridge while we make our cheesecake. To make our cheesecake mixture, we're gonna use about 500 grams of non-fat Greek yogurt, which is about two cups. We're gonna add 200 grams of light cream cheese, one teaspoon of baking powder. Now we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Sweeten to your liking. Now we're just gonna blend this baby up. Transfer our cheesecake mixture into the baking pan. And we're gonna bake this at 320 for 30 minutes. Under the cheesecake, we're gonna place a bath of boiling water. All right, so it's baked for 30 minutes. I'm gonna put it back in the oven at 200 degrees for 45 minutes. And that's our last step. This baby is done. Now I'm gonna put it in the fridge to cool down for about an hour. I got 10 slices out of it, and it's gonna be part of my meal prep for the week. I topped it with wild blueberries, 10 out of 10. When I was losing my 97 pounds, I was having overnight oats and chia seed pudding for breakfast some days. So let me show you a pumpkin spice overnight oats recipe that I'm loving right now. We're gonna start with half a cup of oats. I'm using quick one minute oats. We're gonna do a tablespoon of chia seeds, a three-fourths cup of almond milk. Can't say that right. Half a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. One-third cup of pumpkin puree. A tablespoon of honey or any sweetener you like. A teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Also about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, I ran out. Now we're just gonna mix all this together. All right, I'm just gonna cover this up and then put these in the fridge overnight the next day and you can see how creamy it is it's so good i've lost 97 pounds so let me show you a variation of a crunchy salad that i've been eating during my weight loss i'm gonna start with roasted broccoli crunchy chickpeas broccoli sprouts tomato corn black beans red onion cucumber grilled chicken a little bit of low calorie cheese for the dressing we're gonna do about a cup of greek yogurt non-fat two chipotle peppers lime juice garlic powder, salt to taste, and I'm gonna blend this up. Spicy dressing. Oh my god, that looks so good. A little bit of tortilla chips. Give this a mix. Look how good this looks. And I'm gonna eat it all. Someone who lost almost 100 pounds, let me show you what I'm eating now instead of ice cream. We're gonna start with about a cup of strawberries. We are going to mash up these strawberries. All right, I've mashed these up, and just to show you, this is kind of like the consistency you want to have, just so that it's able to hold its shape a bit a little better. Chia seeds. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of chia seeds. And we're gonna do about a tablespoon of honey. We're gonna mix all this together, and then we're gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes so that the chia seeds are able to thicken it up. That has thickened up beautifully. Now we're just gonna place it in clumps. Look at these beauties. Oh, now I'm gonna freeze these for a couple of hours. All right, these froze up. I know they don't look that pretty, but they're gonna taste good. Dip these in some chocolate. Now I'm just gonna put some sea salt on top and it's gonna finish it up. This is my go-to healthy dinner when I don't feel like cooking. Let's start with some canned tuna, red onion, celery, cilantro, jalapenos, green apples. We're gonna use avocado instead of mayo because it tastes better. I'm just gonna use one avocado. We're gonna do some salt, some black pepper, some garlic powder, onion powder, some lime juice. Let's just mix this baby up. All right, let's give this a try. So bomb. I want more lime though. Mm. Toasted up some 25 calorie. I toasted those Mission 25 calorie tortillas. Perfect for this. It's so good and so easy and you already know I need some hot sauce on here. I did not get surgery to lose my 95 pounds, and that's why I still need to eat a lot. So let me show you one of my favorite nacho alternatives that I ate during my weight loss. Let's start with 95% lean ground beef. Garlic powder, I just eyeball everything, and if I need more later, I'll just add more. Onion powder, paprika, salt, black pepper, a little bit of cumin, and a little bit of chicken bouillon. Now we're gonna cook our beef. Once your meat is cooked, we're gonna slice up some bell peppers, and this is going to act as the nachos. So now we're gonna spread our ground beef on top of the bell peppers. Now I'm gonna top it with two servings of vegan cheese because it's lower calories, 80 calories per serving. I'm using two. And then we're gonna place sliced jalapenos on top. 
I like it spicy, so I'm going to add a lot of jalapenos. <laughs> I'm going to bake this in the oven at 400 for about 15 minutes. Beautiful. It's so good. I'm going to eat half of this now and then the other half for dinner. Let's make some low calorie, high protein buffalo mac and cheese. Super creamy and delicious. To make the cheese sauce, we're going to use one and a half cups of cottage cheese, fat free. Half a cup of fat free cheddar cheese, one mac and cheese packet, one fourth cup of Frank's Red Hot, or any low calorie buffalo sauce. Half a cup of fat free milk. And I'm just going to blend this up. I have about 24 ounces of chicken breast that I'm going to be cubing up. Then I'm just going to add garlic powder to it, onion powder, salt, some black pepper. Now I'm just going to mix this up. Now I'm just going to add my chicken to a hot pan. All right, now that my chicken is cooked, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of honey. I'm going to add about four tablespoons of Frank's Red Hot or any buffalo sauce of your choice. And I'm just going to cook this until my sauce has thickened up a bit. All right, so I have eight ounces of protein pasta that's cooked. Now I'm just going to add in our cheese sauce. That's how you know it's good. I'm just gonna top it with some of our chicken. I'm gonna top it with some more buffalo sauce, some light ranch, and some chives. It's amazing. Eating healthy does not have to be boring. It made four servings perfect for meal prepping. I already ate one. Mm, 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 mm. 10 out of 10. Mm. I've lost almost 100 pounds by- This is apple bottom. Where's your teacher? By eating healthier, let me show you a variation of a crunchy salad that I've been eating on my journey. We're gonna start with roasted broccoli, crunchy chickpeas. It's a must. Red cabbage. Broccoli sprouts, cucumber, scallions, gotta get them all out, sweet peppers, some bean sprouts. Now I'm just gonna add in some grilled chicken. All right, for the amazing dressing, we are going to be using about three tablespoons of non-fat Greek yogurt, one teaspoon of white miso paste, one teaspoon of sesame oil, one teaspoon of rice vinegar, about a teaspoon of honey, garlic powder, and the juice of half a lemon. Gonna mix it really well because the miso tends to clump up. Now we're just gonna add in our dressing. Oh my God, this looks stunning. I'm just gonna top it off with a little bit of wonton strips. Give it a good mix. Look at this gorgeous salad and it tastes amazing. It's so good. And yes, I'm gonna eat it all. If there's something that I've learned on my almost 100 pound weight loss is that balance is really important. I'm craving birria tacos, so let's make some. All right, for birria tacos, you're gonna wanna use chuck roast. This is about four pounds. All right, I washed my meat. Now I'm just gonna salt and pepper it on both sides. Now we're just gonna brown the meat on both sides. Once your meat is browned on both sides, we're gonna place it into a slow cooker. Okay, we're gonna start making the sauce that seasons the beef. We are going to get 10 to 12 guajillo peppers and we're going to de-seed them. I'm gonna cut off the top like this, and just shake out the seeds. At least that's how I do it. De-seed two chiles anchos and shake it out. And we're gonna use three chiles de arbol. We're gonna simmer all our peppers with half a white onion, two tomatoes, and about six garlic cloves until everything is nice and soft. So this is what you wanna see after simmering after a few minutes. Our chilies are softer. Our tomato is softer and our onion is softer as well. Now we're going to add everything into a blender, our tomato, our onion, and our garlic cloves. Now I'm just going to add in all our seasonings and I'll have listed on the screen all the seasonings that I use. I use about a tablespoon of everything. Now we're just going to fill it up with low sodium beef broth and we're going to blend this baby up. <laughs> and we're going to strain our seasoning mixture onto the meat. Just strain like so until your meat is covered. I'm gonna cook it in the slow cooker for about seven hours on low, or you can do it on high for about three or four hours until your meat is nice and tender. Now I'm gonna place a couple of bay leaves on top and cover this baby up. Once our meat is cooked, we're just gonna pull it apart like so. It's so tender that it just falls apart. We're gonna dip our tortilla in the broth, place it on the skillet, place our meat, and do some cilantro, some mozzarella cheese. This always hits, so good. Losing weight is easy when you feel full. High volume, low calorie will be your best friend. So I'm gonna show you this buffalo chicken dip that I was eating and I still do because I like it. We're gonna start with some Frank's Red Hot, just a little bit, garlic powder, onion powder, and again, I just eyeball everything. Black pepper, a little salt to taste, not too much. I'm gonna add in some non-fat Greek yogurt, maybe two tablespoons or so. I'm gonna add a little bit of low calorie cheese. You don't have to, you can completely really skip that. And normally I would make this on the stove top, but I'm gonna be baking it in some bell peppers, so. Perfect. When you start skipping meals and not eating enough, you just end up eating way more because you end up eating everything in sight later on. So now we're just gonna stuff our bell peppers. So now I'm gonna bake these in the oven at 400 for about 20 minutes. These are done baking, so I'm just gonna top it with a little bit of scallions. It is so good. I'm not even kidding. 